when I started watching the movie, you know, I saw Dev Patel, and then uh, in a few moments, he kind of merged into Ramanujan. So I don't think I really watched Dev Patel. I saw Ramanujan, and I saw Hardy, and I saw Komalata Ma, and I saw Janaki, and. I saw all the characters. I stopped thinking about the actors, and for me, that's very important. That I don't think who that actor is. I don't want someone to, you know, be larger than the role. I want the role. I think definitely. I mean, uh, you know, as Dev Patel has often said, to be acting with Jeremy, you know, is. A dream come to and true, and what a brilliant actor! But I think it comes through. You know, it comes through of him being hesitant and in awe and going and speaking with Hardy. Hardy, the elegant professor, and who comes from a family of teachers, who is in Trinity and is, you know, thinking he's being so kind that he's indulged this so-called, you know, Tamilian Brahmin Iyengar, and he's this, you know, polished. A uh, British person, where you know World War One is going to happen, and you know the Indians, there's still there's racism, and you know we've indulged some Indian to come in and be a Trinity, and from that to change to saying, well, good, you know, let's have the theorems, and then seeing this amount of work that this young boy has produced, then to be in awe of him, then to become his mentor, then to become not just a mentor. To fight for him against his colleagues and peers, and to say that, you know, you don't have to take him at his word; you have to take him at my word. And then to be uh, be excited by the work Ramanujan did, to discuss it with Jeremy discusses it uh, throughout with Littlewood, Toby Jones, and both of their relationship. I would say two mentors, you know, uh, for uh, Ramanujan, and uh, and then being excited, almost like a fatherly figure, a friend, a mentor, when um, he applies for his um, uh, FRC, you know, the Fellowship of the Royal Academy, um, and and I think that's a very exciting thing that he was pushing it to say, I know who this young man is. And being taken by that brilliance, so I think they both handled it beautifully. How, you know, the changing relationships are shown in the film, and you kind of feel when watching it that you are like a, you know, um, onlooker, uh, but you are very much in that circle and you are in the conversation, listening to these two men debate mathematics with such love and passion. At Cannes, we were actually not uh, showing the film at the festival. It was a private screening done in Antibes uh, for a very select group um, of people, and um, of course, everybody loved it. Then it went to Toronto because that was a very prestigious festival. So uh, I think the exciting part was, you know, seeing the red carpet. Everyone walking the red carpet, um, having uh, the film watched by people. The actors all went up on stage, thundering applause after the film. Um, and I think for me, it was very exciting to see it, you know, not privately but on a big screen. And when you know it opened up, and to see everyone's names and. Um, Uh, you, you know the credits uh, to Cayenne Pepper Productions, as we are one of the executive producers, and since I did all the India parts, associate producer India. So to see our uh, company name CPP, and um, and so we have India distribution as well because we were involved uh, with with I was doing so many aspects of the film, um, you know, helping with. Uh, Uh, telling people not just the clothing, but what they wear, how they would say this word vegetables. How you know, um, you know, it crossed many, many barriers. So to see it finally, you know, open on that huge screen and to see 
everyone's names uh, where it finally came into production it was a very exciting experience and then it was my first one to um, you know have CPP and um, me involved in this larger production so it was very exciting and uh, then we went to Zurich it was totally different from Toronto it was Europe and I think it was so exciting um, um, you know to see that everyone had actually printed out posters and photographs of the different actors and was asking them to sign across it so uh, uh, you know I, I think overall it was just a fabulous experience um, uh, Dior was wonderful in um, Zurich they even had uh, uh, not just the actors but CPP like me and uh, Judy Caleb who had been working with me on the entire backstage uh, production of what we were helping with with the India part then um, they called us to do our makeup for us um, just as a gift so it was a very exciting time and um, and, and then of course Ify was very exciting where um, Devika he says makeup for um, the Ify opening was done by Mickey contractor and Mickey's a dear friend and um, and he, you know, came down and he said, um, you know, one doesn't need much when, you know, you're so young. So it's wonderful. So it's been exciting to be able to say walking the red carpet. Exciting for me to have seen uh, my daughter walking a red carpet. So on many levels, you know, as somebody involved with the movie, somebody who then became a parent looking at one's uh, daughter or looking at one's student as she did study dance and um, I'm very excited that this movie is finally going to be shared with the rest of the world. I honestly don't know because as I said, uh, you know, uh, you know, people do these researches and audience feedback. Time is a huge factor. How much time do people want to give to educate themselves? How many people, you know, want to go and watch a movie that would be meaningful? I have no idea. I believe demographics are different. In the South, it's different. In the North, it's different. Um, you know, in Haryana, it will be different. Um, I think schools and college going children would all want to see it. I think any parent would want their child to see it simply because parents want their kids always to be inspired. and. Frankly, it's an inspiring story. It's like, you know, watching the story of an athlete and here he's an intellectual athlete. And there must be many more Ramanujans and hopefully they'll be discovered and, you know, they can go on to leave an impact on the world. Because a lot of our youth today, their brilliance may not be seen. They, there must be Ramanujans, they have to be. You know, I, I believe that you know, think about it, it's so many years later that we're even discussing Ramanujan. Our own country, we didn't have a film on him. And, but everyone knows he's great. So nobody, don't, one shouldn't wait for someone else to say you're great. You know, it's, every person has to struggle and go through their own struggles and do it because of the passion, not looking for the end result. That's what he did. And I think that's a huge inspiration for any youngster who, gives up their dreams and says, you know, I've tried, I just can't. Because if you really have a dream, the path is extremely difficult. I don't know anyone who's become successful easy. Oh, a sense of tremendous pride. It's been a great journey, a great learning. Um, uh, you know, working with amazing people. Um, being able to see things closer and understand, not having, um, you know, a Bollywood background. I think, um, you know, everyone says, oh, I always meet people who say, Bollywood is very hard, you know, Hollywood is different. I honestly don't think that there's that much difference. I think it's uh, pretty much the same. And, you know, pretty much the same genres here. The sets, they may speak Hindi, there they speak English. And uh, I met some of the most amazing, amazing, I don't know names, creative people in Chennai on the sets. And um, 
they were doing the sets, uh, they were building rapidly, they were, you know, they didn't have degrees and they didn't have awards and Oscar nominations. They were brilliant. I saw what they were creating on the sets. And so I just think that India has so much talent, um, you know, you know, the tech people, the behind the camera, you know, people whose names no one remembers, but they also made the film, you know, and I just, just saw so many of them creating magic on the sets, you know, doing the sets. And uh, you don't always know, you know, um, who they are. And, but I saw them all. It was interesting sitting below a palm tree in tremendous heat, pouring cold bisleri or water on my head because the heat was so strong. And um, it was, it was fairly a learning experience, I would say. Um, another funny incident, I think in England, everyone was eating lunch at three and four, uh, you know, after the shoot. And everybody here was up in arms saying, no, we leave home early and we want to eat our lunch, you know, by one o'clock. So, you know, the crew was like, so should we shoot or not shoot? And, you know, and so I think finally decided when in London, do it the London way. When in Chennai, do it the Chennai way. So, you know, it was, it was a very, very wonderful experience. I went to lovely temples, uh, met, you know, the priests at the temples. You couldn't really cut out the sound when somebody is, uh, you know, having the temple bells ringing. So, um, shooting against all those different things. I think at one point, uh, one of the scenes had to be reshot because Bollywood music was playing on speakers in the background. And, and you're trying to recreate, you know, 1910, 1912, when there wasn't all this blaring music. So it was challenging to get the film to be done in that manner, you know, without all those sounds as well. They must see this movie. It would be a shame to not nurture the soul because this movie really nurtures the soul. It's uh, not something you can watch curled up in bed and saying, oh, between doing texting, writing, I'll just watch this movie. This is a movie that will have you step out and question who you are, who was Ramanujan, what is God? Is it really about religion or is it about this deep passion that you follow? I'd say it's something that is, uh, feeds your soul, whether you, there's no, it's not my type of movie, it's every human being's type of movie. It's a human story, full of emotion, superb acting, you know, an amazing producer, amazing director, a team of outstanding people who all have done outstanding work in different movies. And then to put it all together, you've got this beautiful product. I just think everyone should go watch the movie and uh, tweet and tell us, you know, it's a movie that one can talk about. It's a movie that will make everyone cry. Go with your wives and your girlfriends. Good time to hold hands. What I'm allowed to say and what I'm not allowed to say, because, um, you know, uh, there's, there's so much that happens. And a lot of it is, um, these days, um, and I'm a very blunt person, you have to be so uh, correct not to offend anybody. But then sometimes it's not offending. You're just talking about, um, you know, you know, things that happen. So, um, so I think with with uh, shooting in Chennai, I think one of the funny episodes was uh, uh, we used to, you know, finish shooting, and sometimes they wanted extended time, and so it would get late and um, there wasn't enough time to finish stitching all the madi sar, the nine yard um, uh, saris. And in fact, uh, we had contacted someone and they, um, 
you know, uh, Judy would call me and saying, you know, that sari is not coming because that lady has gone to Singapore because her daughter is delivering. And then, you know, she has to come back to stitch the sari in Kumbhakonam to send it to us on the sets. And I would say, who is going to now be tying this? You know, we, we have to get everyone in and out. So, of course, that poor woman, I mean, her grandchild was being born. She came back. She somehow couriered those over to us. And I think on the first day of the shoot, one of the saris that we needed was not stitched. And so, uh, you know, Devika had someone helping her to put it on, but it wasn't done right. And I remember the director was saying, you know, please, you know, they have to start shooting. And there was someone walking in the village. I caught that woman and <laughs> dragged her. And I said, you please get her fully dressed into this sari. And, and she said, you know, in, in Tamil, she was like absolutely shocked that, you know, it was worn in an incorrect manner because somebody was assisting. So when the director was saying, you know, what's happening? She was standing like, you know, against a doorway, no, you know, proper covering. And this elderly woman was tripping her and, you know, we were getting her to do it. So it was, and, and then, you know, came out quite perfectly fine. And so we were laughing, we were saying, we're just now catching somebody off the street and saying, you know, put on the sari correctly. So things like that and things like, um, showing up, you know, to the hotel late and saying everyone is starving and where's the food and, you know, no food was ordered because in the south everyone sleeps early and that the kitchens had closed down. So then going in and waking people up and rustling food out or um, or as I joked with, with the American crew who had come, including my daughter and De Patel, <clears throat> I think it was in... Kumbhakona, we stayed in one of these beautiful resort-like hotels where, um, you know, I had a separate place. I was, the next morning, you know, my daughter says, I have welts on my back. And I'm like, why? She said, I didn't know. I mean, they, you know, left the door open and the bathroom didn't have a ceiling. <laughs> so there were insects and mosquitoes and, you know, a scorpion outside the room. So we were all laughing, saying, oh, these Americans, they come here and they don't even know that, you know, they're mosquitoes. And so, so we were uh, amused with, with what we take for granted because we grew up here. And, and they just didn't expect that the bathroom wouldn't have a roof. And, uh, you know, so, so they were, all of them chewed quite badly. <laughs> I think, you know, this is a story about how the director wanted the film and many different suggestions may have led to inputs, but ultimately it becomes his story to tell. You know, if tomorrow I was writing a story and then you have a separate director and you have a cinematographer, it's really everyone's story. It's from which angle someone thought, let's take this side, let's show it from this angle. And every film can be shown in so many ways and so many stories. And you have the audience uh, attention only for so much X number of times. So somebody watching it, you know, maybe in Cambridge, and I'm just saying maybe they'll say, ah, oh, we want more of Cambridge. Someone in India will say, I want more of India. I don't think there's enough of India. Someone else saying, oh, I want to see more of romance between what was their relationship. Someone else saying, I want more of math. I am not seeing enough of math. You can never please everybody. So, um, so I think um, I, I'm just glad that the movie has moved me. And uh, it's made everyone cry. It's made uh, me cry. It's made me um, uh, think Ramanujan was not just a genius, but um, there is something in a higher power. Everything can't be explained. So I do be believe that Namagiri did <laughs> give him all her input for the black hole theories and um, all, you know all the brilliance he had. I believe um, he grew up listening in a temple next to him. The sounds of Carnatic music, the sounds of jatis and tadigina tomes and mridangams and percussion and ghattam, those are all mathematical. Others could argue that's not true, but I believe that 
you know, it is so scientifically mathematical, the Bharatanatyam jatis that we do, you know, tat tadingu, tak tat tadingu, tak adingu, tak kadru, tak tadangu, tak ta, ta. These are all math and you do it in rhythms, you have quarter rhythms with them, you start. He grew up right from the womb. His mother was singing Carnatic music with Tal. How can you separate it? How, I mean, you know, Abhimanyu in his mother's womb is believed to have known how to enter, uh, you know, the, the Chakravyu. And then he was born and he couldn't get out. Then why is it different that Ramanujan who was in the womb only listened to Carnatic music, which his mother sang every day, went to the temple. The story even says he was influenced by her, she was his mentor. Then why would only this aspect of it not be there? I think the, the sounds of the mathematical rhythms of Carnatic music in South India are a very intrinsic part of where it came from. And that maybe no one will be able to see in the movie except the South Indians who know what a beautiful culture they have. Um, but I think that there's a lot more, you know, to Ramanujan than a filmmaker could throw out there, the best of what he could after eight years of research and uh, understanding. So I think that part is, um, you know, not my theory, it is my belief. <laughs>